Welcome back to Chaos to Control, time-saving strategies to maximize your day. And today we are going to be talking about one of my absolute favorite topics, which is time blocking. I love the quote, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And if we've hung out before, you know that I love to plan and have a backup plans for my plans. So time blocking is a time management strategy that is designed to help you get more done by focusing on one task for a more significant amount of time. So essentially what you do is you divide your day into larger blocks of time and each block is dedicated to completing a specific task or group of tasks. So an example of a group of tasks may be editing and uploading five videos to your virtual library. So you're doing the same thing, just maybe multiple times versus having a two page long to-do list and you're jumping back and forth in between tasks and you're trying to multitask, which we know doesn't always work the best. So let me give you an example of what this looks like in a real life situation because time blocking sounds ideal, but how do you actually make it work when you have a billion meetings and and events and things to get to, classes to teach all throughout the day. So if you have your to-do list, which you have already prioritized and pick the most important items on your to-do list that have to get done that week, and then you have your calendar of events. So your meetings, your kids practices, your classes that you're teaching, your classes that you're attending, if you're a college student, those are already on your, let's say your Google calendar or written out in your planner. So those are there and you have your to-do list. So on Sunday, you sit down and you look at your to-do list, you look at those items that must get done that week. And instead of just writing a list or rewriting your to-do list for the week, you actually think through, okay, how long is that specific task or project going to take me? And then you look at your calendar for the week and look at where during the week do you have one, two, three, four hours of uninterrupted or blocked time that you can schedule in to work on that project. And then I highly encourage you to actually go into your calendar and block it off just like a meeting. So when I know I need to film a new choreography release or I need to develop a new CEU workshop or write a new email series, something that I know is going to take me more than an hour of time, I will go in at the beginning of the week and actually put those on my calendar. So not only does it help me to stay organized throughout the week, it also prevents me from double booking that time and then getting to the end of the week and realizing that I don't have enough time blocks left to get that larger project done. So it really helps to take your to-do list and really put it into action by putting it on your calendar. So a little bonus tip is oftentimes we think of time blocking as, you know, kind of our bigger projects and we need a bigger block of time, but you can also time block smaller blocks of time that are often wasted. So here's what I mean. Do you ever sit at, let's say the DMV or the doctor's office or at an airport and mindlessly scroll social media or Pinterest or watch Netflix. Not that there's anything wrong with watching Netflix. Sometimes we just need a brain break for sure, or sit at a gymnastics practice or a baseball practice, and we sit there for an hour, which is a significant amount of time, right? So instead of scrolling social media or watching a movie or you know doing some other kind of mindless task, could you schedule your task for that specific time. So one of my favorite things to do is I love to take other people's courses. And it's sometimes hard to fit in taking a course, especially when I am trying to get things done in my office. So I will schedule in watching or listening to a lot of times the tutorials for that course while my kids are at a specific practice or event or gymnastics or something like that. Cause it's easy for me to watch on my phone. Bonus points if I can listen to it while I'm walking because I also like to do that while they're at practice, but I will actually schedule that onto my calendar. Take the girls to gymnastics and watch 
XY course or listen to XY course while on a walk. So I know I'm going to at least have, you know, one, two hours spread out throughout the week that I'm going to have to work on that course so I can get it done versus just buying a course and never actually finish it. So that is my bonus tip for the week. I'll see you back next week, friends.